Calibrating the gripper axis. After watching the homing video and the how to calibrate each axis video for the blade wood processing system, determine if the gripper axis needs to be calibrated. It probably needs calibration if the saw blade misses a cut on the trailing edge or leading edge of the board. Gather the supplies listed here. If you haven't already inspected the gripper assembly, lock out tag out the saw and inspect the gripper motor assembly and entire infeed rail for debris or binding. Inspect the home sensor for loose or damaged parts and cables. Wiggle the gripper drive assembly to check for tightness. Inspect the gripper drive belt for damage and proper tension. Test the tension at the drive end. The top section of the belt should lift approximately 3 16 of an inch with little effort. If no mechanical issues are found that would affect saw accuracy, remove the lockout tagout devices and power up the saw and touchscreen. To calibrate the axis, ensure the status banner on the blade home screen shows ready. You may need to press the Home System button on the toolbar if the system is not in the ready state. The saw must be in manual mode for the Home System button to work. With the saw in manual mode, select Calibrate from the Tools ribbon. The calibration screen appears. Select Gripper and press Start on the calibration screen. If a selection window appears, select Home Position. With the saw in manual mode, start the saw blade motor. Use a straight 2x4 as instructed in the supplies list without any crown or bow. It is not necessary to use the cut straight board feature, but it should be a high quality straight board. Clear the saw of lumber and place the board indicated onto the end feed rail. When it's done, the board ejects automatically. During our gripper calibration, the saw will make a single cut into the back of the board. We're going to take a measurement from this cut to the end of the board to determine the position of our gripper when this cut is made. It's very important that when we take our measurement with our tape measure, that we actually burn an inch on the measurement. This is because the hook on the tape measure does have some play in it and we do not want an inaccurate measurement. First we need to flip the board so that we can see the actual cut. Then you would need to have somebody hold the tape measure at the one inch point and measure to the trailing side of the cut. It's important that we're on the correct side of the cut according to the screen because if we cut, if we measure to the opposite side of the cut, the blade is an eighth of an inch thick and our calibration will be off by an eighth of an inch. In this case, I read 73 inches, minus one inch is 72. We would input that where it says cut A on the screen. There is a secondary measurement on the screen where is the amount to trim off the end of the board. In this case, we're going to trim a 16th of an inch off the end of a straight or 90 cut. This is so that we have no rough edges or staples or any kind of debris coming out of the end of the board. This number can be changed but it is recommended that you stick with a sixteenth of an inch in order to not have any more issues with your calibration. You may want to compare the original and new numbers on the final value screen just to be aware if you're having the same problem over and over again. If so, determine the mechanical cause and fix it.